Hello, good people of the free world. Tom Selly here with my second official edition of Mastery Monday. It's the beginning of the week. It's time to make a difference in our ever growing quest for world domination and empire building online, right? Today, I want to talk just a little bit more about productivity. I want to talk about a tool I've been using for years that I, I sort of take for granted. It's not a new concept. Um, many of you are probably either using the service already and or using another service that's similar. It's called having a home page that your browser opens to every time you open a new browser, right? And for me, that home page is iGoogle. And the reason I love iGoogle is it integrates with all of the other Google suite of tools and there are so many gadgets that I can embed into my iGoogle page that help me keep up to date and in touch with all my information. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, so let's navigate there. You wanna to go to google.com forward slash IG. Google.com forward slash IG. And let me show you the home page real quick. This is the first page for me that loads. What I love about this is you can see um, I've got many gadgets embedded here. And I've got the stuff uh, that I want easily at my fingertips. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening in the tech world, and one of the things that I do to keep in touch with what's happening in tech, what's happening in the internet world, is I grab the gadgets from the publishers that I love. Engadget, Tech Dirt, Wired, PC World, Atom Sound, Fast Company. These are all people in, in magazines and or content that I'm interested in. And instead of me going to their sites, right, I've got them coming to me. I love that about what the web can do. You no longer have to be proactive and diligent. You can set these filters and you're going to get the top headlines. And so when I load uh, my homepage, this is what I see. I've got my Gmail account here. I can see the weather in Kansas City, right? Um, so you can populate this page with all of the gadgets that you want. And then, of course, you know, um, well, first of all, let's just talk about that real quick. You know, if you see a headline, that interests you, you can open it up right in the page. You, you don't necessarily have to go to the publisher's site. So that saves a little time. And what I like about it is it allows you to skim. You can skim all of these headlines and you're obviously only going to pay attention to the ones that are important to you. Rocket Boom, right? Here's a magazine, here's an online video blog that I was, you know, subscribed to, I think back as far as 2005, but definitely 2006. You know, one of the first video bloggers that really made an impact. So anyway, over on the left here, we've got tabs. I can't open a lot of these tabs because um, I've got sticky notes embedded on the page with people's contact information. This is all password protected, obviously. So I'm going to stay away from a lot of these tabs. But one tab that I added was called Tools for the purpose of this tutorial. And one tool that uh, is obviously really important and necessary to have in business is a calendar. That doesn't hurt, right? Now, there's another service that Google uh, provides called Notebooks. And what's nice about Google Notebooks is it allows you, obviously, to make a note, right? You can save it, and then it's going to be here for you for all of eternity until you choose to delete it. So if there's little notes you want to make to yourself, you can use that. Now, I'm using another service that's new in my arsenal that I only recently started using called Evernote, and I did a, you know, a, a tutorial on that or a spotlight on that in the um, Success Habits uh, video. So that's where I'll be going in the, you know, moving forward to take notes. But this is also a great solution, especially if you're in a hurry, you're on, you're on the phone, you don't have a pen handy, whatever. Something I really want to draw your attention to is Google Reader. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of RSS, and probably most of you already have heard of it and know what it is, but for those that don't, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication, and it's a way for you to subscribe to people's content, and then you can view that content in a reader. And I've got Google Reader right here. So now I only just installed it, and this is the stuff that uh, Google thinks is important for me. But of course I can set filters and I can go in here and start telling Google what I want to see. You know, if I were to type SEO, I'm going to get searches for SEO. And then you can click here. And, and what's kind of interesting about this is you're inside the Google construct. And again, it's you using filters 
find the things that are important to you to where you don't have to be proactively looking. Okay, and once you get all these filters, uh, you know, up, then this is just going to be the easiest tool for you to use to just browse all of the stuff that's important to you. You know, you've got categories here. You, uh, subs now, these are, again, I didn't make these subscriptions. These are basically what uh, Google is suggesting. But if I like cool uh, tools, that actually does sound pretty cool, right? I can subscribe to this. And that is the power of Google Reader. And so this is how I have been able to be in a, uh, in a position, you know, to be downloading to you guys some of the things that I'm discovering on the web. It's not that I'm the most diligent person. It's just that um, the things that I'm interested in, I have set the filters that this information is coming to me. So if I liked um, cool tools, and I'm not sure I do yet, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I can add the subscription. I can name it. Cool tools for me right and add it and there you go so that is another tool in the arsenal so getting back over to Google IG I had a um, little toy here what does Google Reader do for you what can Google Reader do for you well it can it can keep track of your favorite websites keep you up to date and simplify the reading experience and also discover new content you know, you can share the content and the things that you find with friends. You can add Google Reader to iGoogle, which is what this tutorial is all about. You can read on the go. Hey, we're, we're always talking about living on the cloud, right? Well, here you go. Read on the go. Google works in any mobile phone browser. So it's not necessarily a, an app, but if you have a web browser on your phone, you can use Google Reader. So that's just some of the things you can do with Google Reader. Uh, I can't recommend highly enough that you get in the habit of using iGoogle. If you use another company, chances are there's more functionality over at iGoogle. I say that without a hesitation because I've seen some of the other ones out there, although I haven't seen them all. And uh, if there's something better, I'll, I'll be recommended that just, to, just as soon as I find out. So there you have it. Stay up to date. Be as productive as possible. Get used to seeing the same home page every time you open your browser. Set all the filters in place to be pulling in the content that's important to you. And until next time, this is Tom Selly for Mastery Mondays saying thanks and God bless.